Lucy, you're being recorded. Hello. Hello. Are you on? Yeah. Well, I personally don't let Bertie into a field where there's livestock. That's a super moustache you've got there. <laughs> Woody is very naughty. Likes chasing wild birds, any birds really, just to just chase. If it's, uh, if it's probably large animals like cattle or horses, I think Bertie could probably get trampled. We're not together, by the way. We're, oh, we're total kidding? strangers. Because she's a German Shepherd, I've never taken Cassie anywhere near sheep. Oh, no. Sheep can just drop dead from shock. So just the idea of an, an over-enthusiastic dog going into the field and just completely freak them out and they keel over. He went over an electric fence or under it or through it, the whole flock's moving. He comes running over the hill with the sheep in front. It was very, very scary. The consequences can be horrendous, the sheep can die, but also I've heard that farmers maybe have the right to shoot. So you can A, be fined and B, lose your dog in one fell swoop. So it's, it's actually quite important to pick up the dog do up when, you, when they've gone. The responsibility you have when you take a dog on is that you clear up after it. There will be bacteria in there that you don't want passed on. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> Put it in the bin. Pick it up. <laughs> Nappy sacks. Oh, I've got uh, yeah, black ones. <laughs> One thing I particularly object to, please put this in, is people that hang them in trees. You're just going to then leave it in a bag. When you see dog poo it's... hanging off a tree, if it's what is nice. the point? <laughs> you know, who are these people that do it? Little poo tree ninjas. Animals. Walking the dogs on the downs. Seriously, guys. No. Well, I take the lead, and, uh, and that's the best way to be.